Okay. I'm gonna show you this little uh, Raspberry Pi four wheel, little pinball machine. The Pi sticks out a little bit right there. There's the power cord, and then there's the on off button I made for it. So look right there. Um, it. Carefully pop it off there if I can show you. Basically, Pi is on the back of the monitor or on the you know 10 inch touch screen. There's a, a speaker amplifier, two little three inch speakers, and the USB hub. Oh, sorry, a USB encoder for the. Uh, and then I made this little clip myself. I, I modified this whole 3D print. I put that little clip on there just to help it so if you're moving it around it won't pop off there because this just kind of just sits down in there and then uh yeah get this turned on show you what it looks like um i put uh a 32 gig micro sd card in it but and it has android 11 uh, but i'm only using up about eight gigs of of yeah, you know, like pinball, the operating system, the pinball games and tables, stuff like that. So, um, I think some people who had gotten the pinball that was online, the um, I'm trying to think what the guy's name was. I cannot think of it. Anyway, um, he made like an 8 gig version that was super cool. I loved it. But it takes it a while to load. I mean, once it gets in here, it's fast. It runs well. No problems. But it does take a little while for the Android 11 operating system to load. And then once it loads, it auto loads um, the Zen Pinball uh, software. I think what makes this particular build, you know, really nice is that, um, let's see how good you can see that, I can tell there's just a glare. Let's try to turn it like that so you can see a little bit. All right. So, um, full touch screen. Back. Don't move, rebel scum. If you look here, um, the flipper and that. Good single player. Um, it is full touch screen. Um, I used another person's mod that they had do for the an Amazon Fire tablet. And it was a little smaller and um, they slid it in from the top. I modified it so it would fit like a Pi 4. Um, so it's slightly wider, but I did include these controls, but I'm not sure you really need to since it's such a, you can navigate everything with a touch. There goes nothing. I need to be ready to take off or none of us stands a chance. Move along, enough rat. Calm down, Chief. Okay. That's never good. Kind of one-handed. Let's see what you put this up there for now. Well, every little bit helps. Prepare to board. I get my stand a little bit better. Let's hold it down like this. We're not exactly anything. We're a crew, a team. In some way, the family. Punch it! It's a truck! Move! All of you, down! done with it you don't want to play anymore there's a pause button up here the home button do you want to quit yes takes you back out of the menu it's really fast right back out to it 
um, these two little screws have a nut on the bottom that has a little piece of metal that holds um, the screen in against this plastic, this top plastic piece because originally it had some little plastic tabs but after you touch it so many times those tabs will break. So I put little metal uh, pieces. Let me see if I can uh, hold this simultaneously here. metal piece right there there's one there and one down here that little metal piece with the screw and the bolt going through is all the world difference of it you know function I just got heat sinks on there it's fine uh, this is a four gig model um, it doesn't have the prettiest wiring but I mean technically it doesn't need to be there's my own little circuit board I made for the, uh, the power button Everybody nauseous. Put this in here. So what I usually do before I shut it down, I go ahead and um, here I'm going to slightly swipe up on this and hit back. And I'll ask if I want to exit that, and then I hit the power button on the back here, and it shuts it down. When you see this, say that it doesn't have. Uh, no cable attached or something here in a second, then you're ready to unplug the power. That's it.